Welcome to today's video. My name is Addie and thank you for stopping by Growing with the Greens. For today's video, I'm going to be continuing my spring cleaning Clean with Addie series. This is video number three and today I am in the bathrooms. So the first thing I'm starting out with the bathroom is decluttering and organizing. I think it's important to declutter and organize before you actually move into the cleaning portion of anything that you're going to clean. The very first time I went through and decluttered my bathroom sink was I think a little over a year ago and I actually did that right here on YouTube. So I will link that video in the description box below if you are interested in seeing how far all of this has come because it was a hot mess under that sink, you guys. And it really was just a matter of not having anything put together in any organizational systems that work. So bins and baskets and um, those little small drawers and things like that are serious, serious savers when it comes to uh, putting things in order and organizing things, especially if you have a small space to work with. But I fixed it, I got it organized, I found a way that worked for me, and it so far has been working out really good. So so because we are back at spring cleaning time this year, I need to go in, figure out some of the stuff that maybe hadn't been used or that I don't use regularly. You know, maybe I've accumulated a little bit more things underneath the sink, but it's time to go through, check out what's under there, get everything that no longer needs to be in there that I don't use or that doesn't serve me, get rid of it, and then organize and clean up the rest of what is left. My bathroom sink is really small. It's just two cabinets. I don't even have any freaking drawers in my bathroom. Seriously. So I have to get a little bit creative about the way that I put things in, about what I keep inside of the bathroom, and honestly, it just has to be very minimal. I can't just have a ton of stuff inside of the bathroom because there isn't a whole lot of space for it. The first step I'm gonna be taking inside of my bathroom is decluttering and organizing, and to me, I feel like this is really the first step that you should take in any room that you're ready to go in and clean or spring clean, simply just because you really can't like organize clutter. You can't organize chaos. So you have to kind of rid the chaos, not kind of, you have to rid the chaos before you can actually go in and begin organizing and then cleaning. It serves no purpose to spend your time cleaning when there's just stuff everywhere. So the first thing I did was basically go in and pull everything out of the bathroom sink. I cleaned out the inside, took care of all of that, and then I sat there and looked at it to try to figure out what am I gonna do to put everything back in here? And what are the things that are in here that I haven't even touched or used or that don't get used often or maybe that don't even have a purpose being under the bathroom sink? Perhaps I can move some of those things around. That is the first thing that I did and I'm gonna show you that right now.
to say goodbye to my favorite body spray, you guys. This is discontinued from Bath & Body Works. It has been for a long time. It is the Juniper Breeze. My absolute freaking favorite, favorite, favorite scent. And there's a tiny drop in there that I've just been savoring and holding on to. I know I'm not the only person that like savors and holds on to the last drop of the perfume. Yeah, I am, but I'm gonna toss it. I'm gonna take one beautiful big whip. I'm probably gonna put some on. And then I'm gonna get rid of this. It doesn't even have a lid anymore. You can't spray it on. It's over. I've just been saving it. It probably doesn't even smell the same. Have you ever kept a uh, body spray or perfume so long that like the scent doesn't even smell the same anymore? So, um, yeah. I just have some miscellaneous bathroom stuff, the extra pieces to the clipper set and the plug, some extra braiding hair. Back here I just have all of my bath salt and then a couple of little bottles. And yes, this one is missing a cap, but I think I have an extra one. I'm not gonna throw this one out though because it's full. <laughs> Inside the bin I just have all of my makeup and I'm actually gonna go through this and do a makeup declutter. A little bit later so that will be separate but this is all the makeup pretty much that I use on a day-to-day -day basis okay so in here is my husband's shaving stuff he uses this like magic shave stuff and so it's like a powder so he's got his little bowl and his aftershave and all of that other stuff back here I just have extra makeup this is makeup palettes and stuff that I don't wear on a regular basis but if I'm going to like a party or a night out or something I'll use that Back there, I just put my travel bag um, that just has miscellaneous like toiletries and stuff in it for when I'm traveling. And then I set up the little shelves that I got from Dollar Tree. back under the sink exactly the way that I want it. I'm not exactly satisfied with like the the organizational systems that I have in place under there. The pull out drawer I like it for my makeup. I got that specifically for my makeup because it's easier than trying to keep it in my makeup bags but I think that I definitely probably want to just get like some cuter um baskets or something. I want to try to find something else that I feel like looks a little more visually pleasing. But aside from that, as far as what's in there, everything that's in there is things that I need, things that we use in the bathroom. And I think that for right now, I really got them in there in a way that's going to work and that's going to be functional for our bathroom. So at this point, now that all of the decluttering and the organizing is taken care of, I can go in and start 
cleaning. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. And drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're going to be working on for spring cleaning in your house this week. Don't forget to head over and catch up with us on Instagram. We are at official growing with the greens. And if you're interested in checking out my bathroom cleaning and organization over on the blog, head over to www.growingwiththegreen.com. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in video number four of the spring cleaning clean with Addy series. Bye guys. Down. Love and lust. Down. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody.